Bowen Park in downtown Nanaimo, BC, is one of the city's most popular green spaces, complete with a meandering trail that winds its way alongside the Millstone River side channel, built a few years ago where people come to watch spawning coho salmon. In the not too distant future, it could also be home to a science center. One of the things we've always talked about was some aspect of an interpretive center. So then about a year ago, um, Suzanne Samborski and myself met with the mayor's office with a, a new group that were looking to find a home uh, for a concept of a science center. We introduced them to the concept of what we've been working on as an overall group with all the, all the partners for the side channel project and said, well, here's Bowen, here's something that may really work, work well. The Nanaimo Science and Sustainability Society is a nonprofit group that was founded by myself and Sue Darnan, who's the president. Uh, two moms and two women in science who basically one day were dealing with kids in the house. It was raining and wondering what we could do here in Nanaimo. And Sue said to me, Liz, what if this area had a science center? We wanted something where the kids could come. They could be inside and warm and then learn about, I don't know, like the park system, the environment, but also just a place to play, a place to play and explore. And I had been actually in uh, Arizona where they have a fantastic children's museum. And when my daughter and I were there, I was, why don't we have something like this in town? Why can't Nanaimo have something this fun and entertaining? The group has developed partnership agreements with local and regional stakeholders such as Mystic, the Nanaimo Museum, Tourism Nanaimo, Vancouver Island University, the Pacific Biological Station and environmental nonprofit groups. The association of the educational program between NS3 and the Pacific Salmon Foundation is ideal. I mean, salmon are a fascinating animal for children to learn about and that I bet most people don't uh, know that coho salmon returning to the small streams around the east coast of Vancouver Island can actually identify their brothers and sisters so that they don't mate with them. And that's critically important for their sustainability. So they're a wonderful tool for the children to appreciate and learn with. We catch a little bit. Oh, good catch, you guys. Well, I think you do have a perfect location around the Millstone, and the Salmon Foundation has supported many of the activities here, so we would be very supportive of establishing an educational center like this. Science World BC is the lead consultant working with the NS3 and the City of Nanaimo on the concept. Um, at Science World we are thrilled with the opportunity to work with the folks in Nanaimo uh, who have the ambition of developing a science and sustainability centre. Uh, we are all together in the business of exciting families, children, adults, parents about the importance of science and technology in all of our lives and in the future prosperity of the province. The proposal is still in the very early stages. Where it could be built and what will be built is generating lively discussion among the NS3 board. Like sustainable blowing up, set a good example, right? When we say science center, we're talking about an indoor, outdoor, science world-esque place. Obviously, it's not going to be 136,000 square feet, um, but something that's appropriate for this region and has an indoor outdoor component so kids can go and explore the outdoors but then come back when it's pouring down rain and take things that they find and look in microscopes and get excited and and um, interested in the natural world and then jump with pulleys and levers and do everything else so a very fun dynamic active uh, play environment where kids and their whole families can discover. What we'd like to do is take some of the experience that we've had here through operating Science World oh, for over 20 years now and uh, apply that uh, however it might be helpful to the folks in Nanaimo. How you build uh, exhibits that are sturdy and will uh, take all the, the, the rough and tumble of families and children to, uh, to effectively designing uh, experiences that, that can communicate and engage uh, members of the family. One of the long-term visions and goals that we hope is to be able to bring in scientists and engineers and mathematicians of the community. A, a lot of sort of problems in the world are problems that uh, are going to ultimately be faced by scientists and a lot of the great questions that we ask ourselves as people just simply why are we here? What's out there? 
um, what's under that water? What's living under, <laughs> you know, under, under this bark and this tree and all of these different things, right? They're really ultimately questions of science. And I know children in particular are very naturally curious about these things. And, and most of us are at some level, right? We have this great wonder about the world around us. And so it's an opportunity for us to explore that and bring that to, to the people in the community. Once the concept plan has been fully developed and endorsed by the City of Nanaimo, the NS3 will move forward with a capital campaign to raise funds for the building project. The Civic Salmon Foundation doesn't really have a direct role with the NS3 yet, but we have a lot of experience in establishing stewardship centers around British Columbia, normally stewardship and enhancement centers. And we've built several of them around the province. And, that, and the real core effort of the foundation is to raise money to support communities. So I would expect in the future that we can share some of that support with NS3. And uh, it certainly has some of the same initiatives going that the Salmon Foundation is built around. When I tell people we're, we're thinking about trying to bring a science centre to Nanaimo, they all think that's a wonderful idea, but can you do it? And I think we can totally do this. The vision for the science centre is to engage the imagination nurture families and encourage children to learn. It would be an economic driver for the region, but it would serve all of Vancouver Island.